Um, of course, uh, having been for that, I was I was a bit different. Like, I found it hard. <laughs> found it hard to like enjoy anything and not feel guilty, obviously. But yeah, uh, it's been a the year in general for me was uh, it started better than it ended. Let's just say that. Um, the beginning was uh, you know that trip to Italy. Uh, well, January started pretty well. I can't even remember that much, but for my brother's birthday, I remember a lot of people came over from Italy, so that was great. Um, yeah, and then of course April went to Italy um, with my aunt and uncle, my cousin, up in Milan, and went to Lake Garda, which is a lake near there. Uh, if you didn't know, I uh, went to Verona for a day as well. Um, so yeah, we did a lot in that a few days. We stayed at this great hotel fully adapted and everything. Not, I can't really sum up everything, I can't remember everything. Um, summer was pretty good. I got over my phobia of using buses. Like I just didn't appreciate buses or using them as public transport to get anywhere. Yeah, I got a car, but in London you can't really drive and park everywhere. Uh, then went to Italy, got even better. I just ate loads of food uh, between the, my two families over there. My mum's side, my dad's side. Um, one town is near the sea, and uh, one town's in the mountains. Basically, that's the difference. Uh, I get, I got a lot more mates and friends in that little town in the mountains. I got friends and fam, a lot more family. Well, I got family in both places, friends too, but probably more in Candida in the mountains. Um, some great friends. Uh, one of them's even moving here. Um, so, like I said, I met up with her. When I got back from Italy in October, um, but she's officially coming over soon to study in England. So I have my best year. That's gonna be lit. Happy New Year! And yeah, my voice ain't great, but I'm here, back in 2020, with another podcast for you guys. Episode 27, guys. We made it. We made it, guys. Can you believe it? It's 2020, a new decade. And yeah, I got a lot to say today. A little review of the last year, which has been crazy. Um, an improvement on my 2018 in many ways, and not in other ways. Uh, it's been difficult, it's not been easy. But that is life, and I'm sure you all have been there, and you know what I'm talking about in general, if you followed the vlog long enough. There's been ups and downs, but I've always been vlogging, maintained that throughout, um, as a form of getting through a lot of things, really. Um, and I've learned so much about life, and about YouTube, in the time I've been doing it. And I enter another decade on YouTube, basically. Um, this past decade, a lot has happened. Started off as some weird, awkward teenager with no style, and here I am today, signing up with my turtleneck, looking like a Bond villain on my podcast. Like, does it get much better than that? You know? Um, at school, they always lay a path out for what you want to do when you grow up. There's always the obvious choices. Some kids end up being doctors. Uh, I didn't have the grades for that. I never would have wanted to be that kind of job, you know. Um, and here we are on YouTube, having studied journalism, you know. It's kind of the route you kind of, I don't know. It's not the normal route you take if you study journalism, but yeah. Um, Happy New Year to you all. Hope you had a wonderful New Year and a Christmas, of course, with family and friends. Hope you drank and ate enough. I certainly did. I when I got ill on Boxing Day, but I welcomed 2020 with open arms. Last year I said to 2019, before it started, I said bring it on. And it bloody well did. And I'm not saying that anymore. But yeah, another decade we enter. Uh, we made it somehow. Ups and downs. I've had like a few great holidays in the last year. 
spent a lot of time in Italy. Um, and yeah, Italy was just amazing. Both times in April, I was in Milan, Lake Garda, and then some, of course, down south, friends and family and everything in between, seeing the sunrise, all nighters, you know, all the, the crazy stuff. I always get up to in Italy. Um, but I want to get into that later on. Um, but for now, let's do a little review. A little review of 2019. And then, yeah, we'll see where that takes us. Really, I've got a lot more to say. I've actually planned this out. Um, yeah. If writing notes on your phone, your phone counts. Like, what does Joe Rogan do? I don't know. He does a lot of research. Um, but yeah, don't take this review seriously. It's a bit of banter, like... It's not, I've missed a lot out of what happened in the year, like stuff I don't really care about, but some of it's here. Um, whether you care what happened last year or not, here it is. So roll, let's roll, well, it's a podcast, what do you mean roll the, roll the clip? <laughs> so yeah, so guys, do you remember, I don't know what was it, earlier in the year, early, yes, well, it's top of my list, so I'd say early, early in the year. Um, that egg that was on Instagram that got more followers than Kendall Jenner did. An egg, guys. An egg was the most liked thing on Instagram. <laughs> like, put that into perspective. Like, whatever you do, you start a trend, you're going to get likes. doesn't matter who's in the photo. And it's weird. Because it's like, who cares? It's just an egg. Like, there's, there's nothing to it. It's just an egg. But it was an Instagram post and everyone loved it. And then something not so great was the Notre Dame fire. And they vowed to rebuild it, but it'll never be the same. Um, yeah, Notre Dame, a famous church in France, if you didn't already know. Quite old, like 14th century, I think. Anyway, it, uh, it caught fire. It was a, a whole big thing. Like The whole world was like, save Notre Dame or whatever. It, it was horrid, you know, it wasn't wasn't nice for history. If you like history, like you wouldn't you wouldn't have enjoyed that. Um, and then there was a one particular song called Old Town Road, Old Town Road, Nas X and Billy Ray Cyrus. Um, they kind of changed the charts forever. Like, like it upset a lot of people too, because hip hop guys like were well, like, it's not hip hop, it's not rap. What is it? Like, if you've got a Lil in your name, you should be doing, attempting that. And why are you mixing it with country? And then the country people are like, you're not proper country, why, why are you doing this? Um, and yeah, there's a lot of hoo-ha, but it's a sick tune. Old Time Road, if you haven't heard it a million times by now, like, where have you been? Like, it's on every radio station. I was in Italy, they're playing it all the time. Every club I've been at, they've been playing it. Why not? It's a sick tune. And credit to the guy for, like, Changing up the industry, doing something different, because we all want to do something different. Um, he just went out and did it. And then Game of Thrones, everyone was angry at the ending of that, the finale, just disappointed everyone. Miserable, wasn't it? <laughs> I got a few memes uh, that I found on that, actually. Uh, it was quite a memeable thing, really. The angry Game of Thrones fans that just were so disappointed with the ending. I've been there with other series, but I never watched Game of Thrones, but with other series where the ending just really annoys you and it left, leaves questions unanswered. And this probably did leave questions unanswered. That's why people didn't really, they didn't really go for the ending. They didn't like the ending. Uh, I don't know what happened. Don't ask me. I don't watch it. I'm probably the only person. There's probably a few other people, but I feel like you can't relate to half of the world just because you can't watch it. You don't watch it. But I don't feel like I'm losing anything. Maybe I am, but I've seen enough good series. And like medieval stuff, made up like dragons and shit. Nah, it's not for me really. I prefer a bit more realism. Like, give me the wire any day. I got Paul KSI. KSI won the rematch. That was good. I'm glad it, well, I'm glad they made peace. They kind of made peace. But did they really? I don't know if they really made peace. Well, I, because then the two point thing, the controversy around the two points, Logan was, 
Well, he didn't appreciate the the ref's angle on the two points, or the ref giving those, deducting those two points. And there was, there was a lot of politics around that, but the decision stood, and KSI won. I'm a fan of both, but the winner is the winner. I actually did stay up to watch the fight, and yeah, I enjoyed it to be honest. I got a message from as uh, TikTok. Anyway, um, no, I enjoyed it uh, staying up to watch it. It was better than the AJ fight probably, but obviously. The, you know, credit to both of them who got in the ring and did it. I've spoken about it before. It takes a lot of effort to do that. You know, it's, it's no easy thing to step in the ring to fight another man. But yeah, I haven't really watched so much Logan content since. His views have gone down, I think, even on the podcast. It's a shame. Like, before the build-up, I was pretty sure he was going to win. And then once it started, I was like, nah. KSI got this, JJ... And now we've got Jake Paul fight, fighting seven-figure giver, Addison Gibb v. Jake Paul. That's going to be a good fight. And then, of course, AJ had his rematch with Ruiz, and he won that. Um, that was pretty like normal as a fight, really. There was a bit of a fight back from Ruiz, but not much. And AJ took took the win and he was proud and he really said that because everyone doubted him and he fought the doubters really. So that was good for boxing. Then let's see who he fights now. Um, you know, Fury or, or Wilder is going to be crazy whoever. Like, people got a lot of opinions on those guys. They're top, so it'd be difficult for him in both of them, you know. And then, moving on, Brexit, that caused chaos. Theresa May stepped down. Um, she just couldn't take it anymore, basically. And then we've got Boris. <laughs> like, what more needs to be said? Like, I didn't vote in the election at all. I didn't vote for anyone. I was just like, nah. Not voting for these liars. Like, like Corbyn, like... Uh, and Boris, like either, either way, there's thing good and bad things about all these politicians, more bad than good for in my in my case. And people be like, yeah, but you got to give your opinion, vote for you know someone. But yeah, I can't trust politicians. Can't really trust any of them. And Trump got impeached. That's another thing. That's quite funny. Um, yeah, I mean he's always arguing on Twitter. And all this. Um, but yeah, it was just funny. Um, he's probably going to get away with it all though. I mean, that's what he always does. I mean, there's been a lot of other stuff happening this year. But that's kind of what I've like put into a list. Um, not the best bits or the work. Just like some interesting things, you know. Um, there's plenty of other stuff I've missed. But there you go. Um... But yeah, it's 2020, guys. I still can't believe it. And all the things that have gone on. It's been amazing. It's been crazy. <laughs> like I said, two holidays. Can't get better than that in my case. Um, of course, to start this year, I've been ill the whole time. As you can tell by my voice. Um, it's not going too well. <laughs> Don't know if I'm going to get through this whole podcast. But we'll try. I'll keep it short and sweet and we'll see where we get. So yeah, this next part is just about talking about what I see the year as in general, like for all of you, for people in, in general, you know, it's like starting a new business, it's the start of a new year, you know, um, starting from the beginning, you know, it's starting a new business and you're the CEO, you're in charge, so you got to make it count, you know. What's this? What's coming up here? My computer has a virus. But I'm still here. Uh, um, yeah. So you start your new year. It's like a new business. 
You want the CEO, you've got to start from scratch. Forget what happened in the past, um, in the previous year. You know, move past it, look forward. Any regrets you have, you know, you're going to have regrets, but you're going to be moving forward with this new plan, new everything, you know, new year, new you, in some ways. It's a fresh start, regardless whether your last year was good or bad. You know, everyone's going to want to change something. Um, you know, the richest guy will want more money or something. Or, or in, if you're in a certain job, maybe you want a promotion, you know. But I'm talking about in general, in life, you could do what you want. It's the start of a new year. Uh, a new enterprise is opening, you know. You're the boss, you're the CEO. You're, you're in charge. You know, and, and you decide where the business goes. You know, you'll probably have regrets from the last year. Um, you know, they say you shouldn't regret anything uh, in life. You know, just move past it, war under the bridge. Um, but to a certain extent, that's rubbish because you need to learn from those regrets and mistakes to move forward. Yeah, put them under the bridge, water under the bridge, yeah. Forget about them and move on, but learn from that situation. Learn from that regret or that mistake so you don't regret in the future. Um, doesn't necessarily always mean doing something. Sometimes not doing something could be a regret, you know. Not always what you do is your regret. Um, it works both ways. Um, I mean, if you have no regrets, there's nothing to learn from. We're all going to have regrets or misgivings about stuff or regrets of like mistakes we've made or things we've done but this is a chance to look past that and move forward to start afresh turn over a new leaf because it's 2019 it's done 2019 is done it's 2020 and it's up to you what you do literally no one else can tell you because you're, you're in charge and I've got a few goals on my own for this year. Um, there's probably a bit a bit too many. They say like one New Year's resolution. You know, people be like, oh, be nice to people. Lose some weight or something, get in the gym. But uh, yeah, it's not that simple in my case. <laughs> uh, maybe I give myself too many things to do in one year, but why not? Um, you got you got a year, so. 2020, never thought we'd get it. <laughs> Never thought I'd still be on YouTube or on YouTube at all by now. But anyway, yeah, let's get on with the goals I've set for myself. So yeah, number one, self-growth and know you will make mistakes and just learn from them. So yeah, learning from mistakes is self-growth. Uh, knowing when you're wrong as well, that kind of thing. Admitting that, you know. And learning from your mistakes, of course. Um, I'll keep doing that. In every walk of life, like Power Football, on YouTube, you know. It's pretty straightforward when you write it down, you know. Easier said than done. Then number two is uh, be well mentally and physically. Look after myself, you know. Don't get ill all the time. And be well mentally is like, don't let negativity consume you, you know. It's not just for me, that's for all of you in that sense. Like, don't let the haters win or any of that, like. Don't let your own negativity consume you as well. So be well mentally, you know. You're not going to be happy every day, there's no way. But be, you know, try and maintain a good level. And when you're down, just know that you're not alone and it's not as bad as you think, necessarily, you know. And physically, you know, don't go breaking your leg doing stupid shit. <laughs> stupid things to, like irrelevant or like in my case like don't get ill for no reason and don't let people put you down that's number three in general don't let other people tell you what you're not or what you can and can't do because you are the ceo you're the boss so you decide so what someone else says shouldn't matter in that sense uh and sometimes people that care but then most of the time people that care do say things to try and help you but it may sound like they're putting you down uh that's difficult as a line you got to draw yourself. Um, and it doesn't always work. You might take good advice as, the, as negative advice or vice versa. So just be aware of that. You know, Don't let people um, tell you that you're less than you actually are. You know, you're the CEO. Don't let anyone else tell you how to run your business. And of course, number four for me, keep vlogging. So in your case, 
in anyone's case, keep doing what you're doing. You know, obviously you're gonna do start new things at some point, but keep doing what you're doing. Just know that, you know, what you've been doing so far has been good up until now. It's not been a waste of time. It's been building to something. So yeah, yeah, I say it's a new year, but things you've done in the past adds to your CV of life, if you if if you will, you know. Um, a lot of people just get too comfortable. That's the thing, though. Um, yeah, keep doing what you're doing, but don't get comfortable in it. Know that there's more out there, and you can achieve more in in whatever you do. And then for me, it's like number five is perfect the podcast or imp- well improve it. Uh, anyway, and uh, do one every two weeks, not every week. That was getting a bit much because it was affecting the amount of normal videos I could make. Because I'd be always doing podcasts. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to improve it. Set more of a layout sometimes. Even make them longer sometimes. I don't know, but um, yeah, that's just a general thing. And the more I do, the more I want to learn and improve anyway. And of course, do more gaming content. That's number six. Um, more gaming videos. GTA Fridays I started recently. So I'm doing, carrying on with that. A bit of FIFA, a bit of Call of Duty, and any other game that comes out. Um, and then number seven is a big one. You know, stay humble. Like I said earlier, yeah, stay humble. Keep working hard. Know that eventually you'll make it uh, on YouTube and monetize the channel. That's my aim. That's my goal, really. I want to stay humble. Not, don't get too big-headed. Um, you know, I'm no KSI, you know what I'm saying? He can afford to be big headed, he's got all that money, look at him. And he beat Logan Paul, so um I ain't started boxing anytime soon. <laughs> Imagine. That wouldn't go too well. Um but yeah. Eventually eventually If I can get the word out without my throat falling apart. Eventually. Yeah. Yeah, eventually it will come. It takes time. You gotta have faith belief in what you're doing obviously don't let people put you down people tell you what's what it's up to you and okay so we're on the last one number eight get to know youtubers or more youtubers yeah i don't want to do a collab or something get in that circle get to know more of them well you know that will help because then you get advice you can exchange advice you know help other youtubers too not necessarily more famous ones but yeah more famous ones i want to meet yeah get ad- well get advice collabs you know other up-and-coming youtubers who would appreciate uh, working with someone else you know oh my days guys my voice is so bad i had to get a drink um, it's alright at times, but yeah, I got ill probably too much alcohol over Christmas. But yeah, we had a great time over Christmas. We had friends and family over um, Christmas Eve was at my grandma's. Then we're here Christmas Day. We normally alternate every year, pretty much. Um, but yeah, uh, it's been a the year in general for me was uh, it started better than it ended. Let's just say that. Um, the beginning was uh, you know that trip to Italy. Uh, what well, January started pretty well. I can't even remember that much, but for my brother's birthday, I remember a lot of people came over from Italy, so that was great. Um, yeah, and then of course April went to Italy um, with my aunt and uncle, and my cousin, up in Milan, and went to Lake Garda, which is a lake near there. Uh, if you didn't know, I uh, went to Verona for a day as well. Um, so yeah, we did a lot in that a few days. We stayed at this great hotel, fully adapted and everything. Um, ideal because the owner has a disabled son so they knew exactly what was needed and what wasn't you know what's ideal and what's not in terms of accessible accessible rooms you know Um, so that was good Um, and it was a great great holiday Um, and then uh, we all got ill on the way home I think because we we drove so all in the same car we got ill Uh, all four of us so that wasn't good Um, but yeah, since I've been to so many Tottenham football matches at the new stadium, uh, amazing. 
Um, the opening of that new stadium was great. Great to be at that. And then form kind of dipped after that. Uh, a bit mental. Um, at the Ajax game, I was at that. But it was crazy to be at Spurs. Opening this new stadium, you know. Um, it was just, or was that the year before? I mean, actually, opened. I can't even remember now. End of last season, yeah. Yeah, so technically, still this year. Uh, yeah. Well, the year just gone. <laughs> um, I'm. Not, I can't really sum up everything. Can't remember everything. Um, summer was pretty good. I got over my phobia of using buses. Like I just didn't appreciate buses or using them as public transport. To get anywhere, yeah, I got a car, but in London you can't really drive and park every, everywhere as such. So I overcame that fear to the bus here and there. Still yet to go on the train, uh, whichever route's accessible. Um, but I know that's possible for a friend of mine who I met up with in Stratford, if you remember that vlog. Uh, that was a three hour journey there and back on the bus. Uh, let's just say I'm getting the train next time. Uh, I met up with a good friend of mine who's in, wait, that that's that comes later. That was in October. That was I. I've got to do this in order, kind of. Um, yeah, so summer was great. Uh, then went to Italy. Got even better. Just ate loads of food uh, between the my two families over there. My mum's side, my dad's side. Um, one town is near the sea. Uh, one town's in the mountains. Basically, that's the difference. Uh, I, I get. I got a lot more mates and friends. In that little town in the mountains. I've got friends and fam a lot more family. Well, I've got family in both places. Friends too. But probably more in Candida in the mountains. Um, some great friends. Uh, one of them's even moving here. Um, so, like I said, I met up with her when I got back from Italy in October. Um, but she's officially coming over soon to study in England. So I have my best at year. That's going to be lit. Um... But yeah, summer was mental. We had the all night uh, thing where we just played guitar and sung, or attempted to. It was crazy. A lot of alcohol, and my brother didn't even make it. Uh, he he fragged out around 5 a.m. He was in the room, we're knocking on the door. Mass, where are you? He was asleep, and he didn't. I only wake, woke up to let me in about 8 a.m. when we finished being awake all night and drinking. God knows how much we drank. But he, he can't remember most of it because he was too gone. Uh, but it's crazy to be up for 24 hours. And it's just humbling. We're just with different groups of people that wouldn't otherwise hang out. Like from all over Italy and, and Europe. And the world, if you like. People travel from America to go there. Family and friends. Um, but it's just an extended family, really. All the friends can't say, like, I mean, you know everyone, everyone knows everyone. I don't know what it is, it just brings people there. It's like, I don't know, Italians, wherever we are, we always go back home. It's just something about it, we're magnetised to Italy, and to that family orientation, and like, friends and all that, and just having a good time. The rest of the year we don't see these people, but this is going to change. With one of my great friends coming here. Um, uh, she's coming here to study. But yeah. We're just going to have so much banter. So much uh, good memories. Um, and that's what the summer is about. We we do that every year. Um, I didn't get in the sea that much. The sea isn't very clean down there. In certain bits you have to drive further away. To find the, cl the cleaner bits. Beaches. Um... Some lovely beaches that is just getting to them. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it was great. Hanging out with fam new and old family, if you like. Um, I hung around Avellino quite a lot, which is like a bigger town. Might as well be a city. Well, it's not really a city. It's like down the mountain, basically. Um, and people are different there to where my dad's from, like in Puglia, which is another region further south near the sea. Completely different style of dress, like, it's a bit more emo up there, uh, I don't know why. It's a bit colder in general, people wear a bit more clothing, let's just say, you know, 
got your leather jackets and, and whatnot. Whereas in Canosa, which is like really hot, um, part of Italy, it's just like shirt and shorts, you know, t-shirt and shorts or whatever, more, more laid back kind of style. And I learned a lot about that and like it was interesting, it's eye opening in some ways. I'm kind of a local there now, I feel like I know the area too well. Because they've got like a main, right, like a main high street which is like closed off, you can like walk down it. Just rolling up and down that street uh, with our crew, if you like, um, and it it was good. Bit of love in the air for my brother, which I can't talk about because it didn't go well. But um, it was really a bit of love in the air, you know. A bit of awkwardness here and there, uh, but you know, cause when they hear we're from London, it's just like you know, like like dogs. If you've got a treat. Like imagine a group of dogs if you've got a treat. Oh, you're from London, ah. Oh. Then they'll gather around, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's quite fun, quite funny. It's that, that, um, that step, that first step in the door you get. Just because you're from another country. And you're more exciting than, than everyone around there. Oh, you're from somewhere else. Tell me about it, is it like it, you know? All the typical questions. Um, but we're, we have so many cousins. Uh, some of them are closer with than others. Um, but that's how it is with family. There's so many. Some we don't know so well. Some we know too well. <laughs> but some of my friends... It's like that as well. It's like they might as well be related. They're probably all related in that town anyway. Somehow. And it's just humbling. And then get back. Uh, yeah, it w wasn't... I want to talk about Paget football, and and that wasn't great when that started. Like a week into it, the new season when I get back, uh, we lost our our um, vice chairman, our coach, friend, and you know, legend of the Paget football like community. Um, so that was difficult for everyone. Um, and then since then, over the like I think it was like, like November October. Two, we lost two players that I knew person like I played against them many times um, so that was emotional because it was like I just saw them last week um, so the Padre football community has been suffering um, of course last year or was it last year earlier in the year the England team won the European Cup <laughs> they won the European Cup which is amazing first time so this was just a kick in the teeth for everyone that horrible few months that was a lot of grieving a lot of disbelief then went to the funeral there was so many people um yeah it was uh difficult i mean last year i lost my grandma and that was difficult but she lived in italy I only saw her once a year this was a person i'd seen a week before not even um, that was our coach and um, one of my mates dads and for all of us it was just how can we carry on but we had to because that's what he would have wanted and then we played we went back for the first nationals and we had a great weekend uh, a very difficult weekend on the Saturday we weren't in it at all we lost both like, our heads weren't in it then by the Sunday we fought back and we did it for him we did it for Barry and it, it was difficult, but we somehow, <laughs> somehow, we did it. Um, so I said my year started well, and then kind of got, kind of went downhill. And yeah, that was very difficult, of course, losing those two players as well. Um, and yeah, like I said, I met up with my best friend again. She came over to London. Um, of course, uh, having been through that, I was, I was a bit different. Like, I found it, hard, <laughs> found it hard to like enjoy anything and not feel guilty, obviously. But yeah, like I said, my grandma died the year before, and that wasn't as difficult. Um, and no, nah, I mean, I, I was, in the summer. I was at, I was at the uh, cemetery. Saw my grandma's grave, 
and that was difficult, but to be at this funeral was just another level, I don't know. Like, too many people, like someone far too young, and that proved it. You know, it's just hard to to comprehend still. And yeah, that was 2019, the end of it. September, October, November. <laughs> you know, cheered up a bit, um, but it was it was a it took a long time. And I still made videos for it. Made a tribute video as well. I mentioned I showed it in my previous video. The New Year video. And yeah, so... Um, slowly got back to normal. Somehow. Cheered up, you know, and then... November. Not much happened in November. Another Nationals. December got, got good, because... Uh, I saw the Spurs-Chelsea game, that didn't go well, though. But that was a great day out with friends. Um, obviously, we got... The problem was... We got lost on the way back. We ended up in Camden near London Zoo and all that and we're, all we're doing is coming back from Tottenham don't ask I blame my dad but don't ask uh, that was a long story that was funny yeah and then Christmas started really we got our tree up pretty late this year um, we had my aunt and uncle coming over from Milan um, on Boxing Day like last year they did the same on Boxing Day till last Saturday so that was great that was more company after having a great Christmas, eating too much. Uh, I'll be honest, I didn't watch any of the Queen's speech or any of that stuff on TV. Can't stand that stuff. We just played board games and stuff. Tombola, which is bingo, if you're wondering, the Italian version. Play, played that, I was drinking Sambuca. Uh, probably more than I should have, like because I couldn't see the numbers. Uh, I was just sitting there sipping Sambuca. Uh, and actually won in the end. Um... After losing almost every other game, not winning any any money, um, and we played two was to be a millionaire. Uh, me and my mum on one team beat everyone else. Um, we got to like eight eight grand, and then we gave up on the game. Everyone was just like, nah. But yeah, that's a good game. Uh, our friends of ours bought that, and I've got to play that again. Obviously, the questions get a lot harder as you go up, and there's no real money you're playing for. But yeah. It was either that or Monopoly, and that always ends in tears. But yeah, a lot of, a lot of alcohol. Not as, well, after Christmas, there wasn't too much alcohol uh, because I was kind of ill. Till New Year's Eve, I just went f full, full alcohol again. <laughs> why, why not, despite being ill? Who cares, right? It's 2020. Um, and then New Year's, the New Year's Eve thing had uh, Craig David. Nah, no thank you. He's passed it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it was uh, it was a crazy year. So many good things and towards the end some negative things. But, you know, that's life, good and bad. You move on regardless. I made so many great memories in that summer. Like, I can't put it into words. Like, every day was something different. Like, um, I don't know. Uh, would it be the same next year? I don't know. She's coming over here. It was one of one of my friends is coming over here. Hopefully, she brings some of the others, but probably not. Um, but yeah, that was, and it, it's going to be crazy this year. Just chatting to her now, like we're coming over soon. New year, new you, new me, or whatever, whatever they say. This decade is going to be mental. It's going to be different. And yeah, I forgot to mention my birthday at that that down in Borough Market. Um, which, oh my god, I turned my torch on, my mistake. i got to turn it off, Jesus. There we go. Um, but yeah, down Borough Market for my birthday. London Bridge, that area where that attack happened, isn't it? When was that, November, October, I can't remember. But yeah, that I was there on the 28th of August for my birthday. Um, obviously much, much before what happened, but I was back there again. For another video, I was down that way a few times because of that birthday vlog when I was down there for my birthday. And then this attack happened, like right where, literally where we were across the street from where I was. Um, and it's, that's hard to put into words. The whole attack 
Um, I don't know how I forgot about that in my year review. Um, but yeah, the London Bridge, that was crazy. Like, people fought back, you know. you got to in this case. I mean, it's amazing. The, the bravery of some people to risk their own lives, you know. Other, other ex-cons. Um, and that just mess, messed up the year. And now we've got these forest fires in Australia. Like, pray for all them. Because that's really harsh. Like, that's a difficult time. Um, that started last year. It's gone into this year. So I, I bet they're not having a great new year over there. Um, I've got friends and family. Well, family friends over there. So hopefully they're all okay. Where they are. Um, but yeah, things like that are just like annoying all these forests burning from LA the Amazon as well you know we've got to stop with this it's 2020 now I mean and then the other thing was uh I saw the other night uh the uh the Golden Globes with Ricky Gervais again upsetting half of Hollywood well he made a, made a funny joke quite a good joke about um DiCaprio and his girlfriend being so young uh, but then he made some about like Apple and their sweatshops and and Epstein and all that, which were a bit crazy. But that is Gervais. You don't like it, get out, basically. He said to them, come up, get your award, and then, in the nicest possible way, go away. Well, and not in those words. Uh, but yeah, so, 2020 is going all right. Hopefully I'm getting over this cold. Keep coughing like a madman. Uh, somehow I've done this podcast. My voice is held out. And yeah. Long live 2020. Like, you got that good vision this year, man. Don't need to go to Specsavers. That joke is just pissing me off. Everyone is talking about this 2020 vision. Like, come on. Get over the joke. It's not even funny at all. But yeah, I'm loving 2020 so far. Apart from being ill. Uh, it's good. Um, hopefully, it goes well for you. And something I've said is rung a bell or something or triggered you in some in in a positive way not in a negative way if it has triggered you in a negative way fine um but that's it for now a shorter podcast i say that it's probably an hour long anyway um but yeah thank you for listening thank you for joining me i'll be back soon with another episode um this has been episode 27 i think yeah yeah the first of 2020 the first of many this year Take it easy guys and remember, stay humble and keep it real. Always sister boy, Luisa21 saying bye, or ciao, or arrivederci, or auf Wiedersehen. Yeah, take it easy fam, peace.